Hello everyone and greetings from Rome. In this super exciting video on how to use EarthMap, we will present a case study on the Lake Chat. EarthMap is an innovative free and open tool that allows the user to easily view satellite imagery, information trends and statistics related to climate, vegetation, biodiversity, geosocial elements and others in a given area of interest. In this video, I will show the possibilities that EarthMap can offer to a user with a case study in the lake chart. The conflict surrounding the lake continues to be one of the most challenging conflict traps in the world. With patterns of seasonal migration of people in search of natural resources such as fuel, wood, fish, water and arable land to sustain livelihoods. The effects of climate change on the lake are apparent. Temperatures in the region are increasing one and a half times faster than the global average. And precipitation is highly variable and increasing with time. These changes combined with more extreme weather events due to climate change drive an increased variability in the size of the lake, which in turn exacerbates the ongoing conflict over limited resources. Lake Chat is no longer shrinking, although it was until not so long ago, 2005. But deforestation and forest degradation in the wider areas around the lake are increasing as people need wood to cook. On the following, I will be presenting an assessment displaying climatic and vegetation data in the Lake Chat that will demonstrate the potential of the region for ecosystem restoration. Starting Selecting the area of interest, I already selected the, the lake chart and in, in boundaries you have different options and I selected the lake so that the tool zoomed into the, um, the lake chart area. If we want to start looking, for example, at the local climate of lake chart, we will click on the lake chart shape, select a script, search for mean temperature and select annual in the temporal aggregation. The date range, maximum date range available is from 1979 to 2019. We will click in process and the statistics will be processed through Google Earth Engine. Very quickly, the graph will appear, and we can observe, maximizing the chart, that the mean average annual temperature in Lake Chat has increased from 28, from around 28.5 in 1979 to 29.6 in 2019 and has an overall linear upward trend. This map is offering you the possibility to check information about the statistics and um, go to the source of the data that you are presenting in the interface, in the EarthMap interface. Another um, climate-related information that might be interesting would be the annual total annual precipitation in millimeters. We have two different sources and we'll access one of those. And if we again closely look at the chart and maximize it, maximize it, we will see that the total annual precipitation consider, considerably varies interannually and shows an upward trend. It means that precipitation is increasing as well. As we're talking about the um, lake chat, and it has been 
On the water availability in Lake Chad has been a controversial topic throughout the last years. Maybe it will be interesting to access some information on water. In this case, water occurrence intensity from 1984 to 2018, we have this layer that we can display so that we can have a spatial distribution on the water occurrence intensity. A decrease in water occurrence intensity will be displayed in, in red and an increase in green. In the northern part of the lake, um, we can see that the Lake Chad has undergone an increase in the water intensity occurrence and a decrease in the water intensity occurrence can be observed in the western part of the lake, on the border with Nigeria and in the southern part of the lake um, in Cameroon and Chad. These changes also have an impact on the vegetation in and around the Lake Chad. We can access information on the NDVI, the Normalized Difference Vegetation Index, an indicator of live green vegetation, which shows that vegetation in the Lake Chad is on an upward trend. Here in the matrix, we will select NDVI and calculate some annual NDVI metrics from, land, uh, from Landsat with 30 meters resolution. If we maximize the chart, we will see that NDVI is increasing in Lake Chad, has been increasing in Lake Chad since 2000 to 2019. As this story is about the potential for exosystem restoration in Lake Chad, we, will, we can display information on restoration potential in the forestry section. And if we show the layer and zoom out and look at the legend, we will see that there's some restoration potential in and around the Lake Chad. If we want to have some specific metrics and numbers, we can also access um, some more specific information in the metrics section. Continuing this, la this line of thought regarding the recovery of vegetation and based on the paper published in Science on the Global Tree Restoration Potential, we observe that in general there is an important tree restoration potential around the lake. Many villages across Lake Chad have been abandoned or destroyed due to the conflict, and unsurprisingly, nature claimed its curse instead. I um, hope this tutorial helped, and um, see you next time. Bye bye.